All right, welcome back to Foundation. So this week has been a bunch of modding, and I did a live stream where I built a bunch of stuff, and so I'll review uh, what I did, uh, including more tailors. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of the textile industry right here. And so let's hop out and take a look at what I did. So first off, uh, uh, I think I covered this. I tried to create another area where we're growing trees and chopping down wood. Uh, I also tried to extend the farm fields. So I put a house, uh, sorry, a farm here and another farm here and allocated areas for them to plant. Plus uh, our woodcutters are cutting down the rest of these trees. We had a house build here. Uh, there's another house that's gonna build but uh, are you standing in the... Apparently it's going to build right on top of these shrubs. But until then, this guy's just standing there next to the shrub. Don't know what he's doing. But um, anyway, a house build here, but they got stuck because there wasn't quite enough room. They might get stuck again. If they do, I'm just going to have to turn off uh, housing on this little island. And what else? Right, of course, the two bridges. Okay, so this is another route back and forth and to try to get the bread production up. I am playing with, and I'm gonna have to turn on the, us the user interface, I am playing with a few more mods now. And so let me show you um, what's going on. So first off, uh, you will notice if I drop this down and select monuments, I actually have a selection for Riverside Castle. Uh, it's got its own mods and we've got a small square tower and a large, this is an eight-sided tower. Um, and this is a copy of, I wish I could pronounce his name, Vijay Raymon, I think. Um, it's a copy of his work, but with textures that I made to make it look like uh, this color. And I will show you that before this episode ends, because I'm going to replace these pieces with these new castle pieces and build out through here. Uh, the other thing is wine is crap, all right? I know a lot of you out there like to wine. I like to wine too, but wine's no good. It's not really balanced here. I couldn't make any money off of it. So I deleted all but one of the cooperages and uh, we just have one left. I figure you could make some barrels and we could make some wine, but we're not going to depend on it. Um, and then over here, I still have to delete all these wineries, which I'll do in just a minute. I think this thing's still under construction. It is. I'm building another winery, I think, or I'm building, I'm building something. I have no idea what I'm building. But once it's done, I'm going to delete uh, all but one of these um, wineries because they cost too much money. Speaking of money, if you look at the budget, uh, you can see right now the territory taxes are 2335 and the upkeep is 2810 uh, As soon as a few weeks roll by, you will notice that these numbers drop precipitously. First off, I changed the um, warehouse. Ooh, that was close keeping it all. I changed the warehouse maintenance to just one from five because that's about all I can do. I can't change the monastery maintenance, which is way too high. Um, and the uh, territory taxes I lowered down uh, because we have uh, tax breaks on all our land uh, so that we can build here. Uh, tax breaks uh, given to us by the king. Uh, trust me on this. Um, and finally, what are we going to do with all those grapes? Well, you probably saw it. If you started up Foundation and you looked at the mods, you saw a new mod that I made, although my name's not on it, uh, that says uh, Grape Sales. And we can create grape markets. And so I'm going to go down here. One of these has uh, berries, berries, and more berries. Uh, your fish and fish, and your berries and berries. You don't have any berries in stock. You're switching over to... Grapes. Thank you, autosave. So now you will go fetch some grapes and grapes. One berry sold for eight. Bread sells for eleven. And these grapes will sell for fifteen. Alright. What else have I done? Well, we have a little Lord's Manor here. And the reason we have a Lord's Manor here in all these bailiffs is because I was told that the bailiff modifiers do actually work. So market revenues are increased by 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10 uh, to try to get, uh, to make me some more money. Didn't really work much. Uh, I'm not sure if they stack or what, but nevertheless, 
Uh, that takes up some space in here. And uh, we have a little more treasury space for that one crazy day when we might have uh, enough money to store. Uh, and what are we doing here? What am I building here? Right, I built one more herbary. And I built it right here next to the trees. That's what we're building. Okay. Couldn't remember what the heck I was building. Did I do anything else? I think that was it to catch us up to where we are now. And my plan, because we can sell grapes and grapes make us, make us good money, even though the upkeep for these things, what is the upkeep on? Uh, I can't because, okay, I can't add it. I want to check the upkeep on the vineyard. I think it's just one or two. But anyway, I believe that we're going to spread out our vineyards back here. I think they would look great on this hillside back here. We needed something kind of back here anyway. And these rotten little villagers, uh, yeah, I'm just going to delete this because this wall is obviously not working. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Okay, so they decided that this was, if a builder was over here, that this was the shortest route to get over here. And the reason they wanted to get over here is, aha, uh -huh, I built another wooden bridge. And I built this wooden bridge because I expanded uh, the residential area out in here, let a few more people in, and uh, built some berry markets. So let's, what are we, my workplace is full vineyard. Not for long, man. Not for long. And uh, if we look here, um, I'm going to stop selling wine as well. Because it's just ridiculous. But anyway, uh, 428 grapes, which we'll soon start selling for the cash. And 523 berries, which we could use more of. 126 bread. We could use more of, of everything except for clothes. I think I'm pretty set on the clothing. And in this warehouse, and you know this warehouse was stocking both barrels and grapes. There's no reason to stock barrels because for one thing, we can't make barrels fast enough. Barrels take too many resources. That's another reason for not doing the cooperage right now. Because if you look at what the cooperage needs, uh, it is taking planks and iron and tools. All of which I need for the castle. We can't have that. We're just going to sell the grapes. I want to turn, I'm tempted to turn another food market into grapes, but I need to see, you're not selling. Didn't I have a couple of fish markets here? I think I did. How many berry markets did I have? All right, I'm going to turn to this market. 21 sold for 168, uh, only nine sold here. I'm going to turn this market into grapes as well. All right, so that's who, Cassandra, you're going to sell grapes here. And that's two grape vendors. And uh, this market, I wonder if I should just build another. We have the space for grapes. Ooh, you're all the same market. Mm hmm. So the fish only sells if the bread sells out. Yeah, I'll build a new market here. New market. Uh, food stall. And we'll put the food stall right here. Give them a red tent. And scoot it up here so it looks like it belongs. Like right there. And start. Okay. And that will also sell grapes. And so there, there will be our grape vendors for now. And then because I'm going to go back on this hillside for more wine. Again, you, you people, I'm telling you what. I am telling you what, that is just not the right way to go. Not the right way to go. You know, okay, so do I need to cross back here? Building complete monastery. Good, I can delete some stuff. Do I need to cross back here or can we just go over here? I think I need to cross. I think I need a bridge. I think I'm going to put a wooden bridge in right here. I think that's fine. Yep, what do we need? 465 planks. And I have 452 planks. We have the planks. So let's build this thing and get it over with. Look at all those planks. All right. And you know what? Before I forget it, uh, look at this guy. You, we just, we just need to, uh, yep. 
We're going to need to edit you. Watch the frame rate drop as soon as I hit edit. And you, sir, are gone. So here you can see the, um, now that the next month has begun, you can see that the uh, territory taxes are now down to just 415 from 2,335. The upkeep cost is still going to be higher than, than 7,000, but it's not going to be 27,000. And last month we sold $30, 30 gold in grapes. And already this month we've sold 735 and their numbers are dropping rapidly as the villagers love their grapes best food ever all right so let's take care of these extra wineries gotta go all the way to the bottom and you're gone then i have to scroll all the way to the bottom again and hit edit and you're gone right we're gonna leave one up right here you will use what few barrels that we make and you'll turn one barrel and one grape equals one wine and uh, we're still selling wine but yeah, yeah we're not going to be selling it very fast and actually I, ha I think I had two wine dealers and one of them's up there I think you in the main drag I'm actually going to turn you into honey all right and uh, to help sell that. The other idea I had for increasing uh, funds is to make another trader with a mod to grab more honey. Currently right now, I think the max that they'll take at one trip is 25 honey. I'm picturing these little teeny jars of honey that uh, because villagers are buying it, right? And uh, certainly they could take almost 100 of those little jars, right? With them. They got that big box on them. And so that would make up for the fact that the trader can only visit uh, once in a blue moon just because there's so many warehouses to visit. But, um, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Uh, we'll sell them to our villagers right now and uh, as many as we can, as fast as we can. So let's start. Um, now that that's done, let me show you what we're going to do here with, the, uh, with these pieces. Now, I did figure out one thing with monuments and that is as long as the first piece of any monument is where builders can get to it then it doesn't matter what you do with all the other pieces they'll be able to get to it because they'll always work on that first piece um, or it seems it they may not always visibly work on the first piece but as long as that first piece is available to work on like they can they can path to it then you don't have to worry about where all the others all the other pieces are anyway we are going to get rid of these corner pieces. This is the first time I've edited this wall in a while. And again, it's the same thing. Go down here and edit this. Now, I forget how much these towers... How much did these towers cost us in upkeep? Uh, the maintenance cost was five. So this will, this will also um, reduce maintenance, but not by much. But um, there's that one, and then I'm going to get rid of this one over here. Didn't want to close that. Go down here. Edit. Get rid of it. Okay, so now, here we go. Uh, let me save. There we go. Just in case anything goes wrong. Just in case, because we're not going to edit that. We are going to add a piece of Riverside C Castle, the large tower, which looks like this. And I'm going to stick it in here. They'll be able to get to this. And it doesn't quite rotate correct around its center. But... Got to carefully... Yes. Just like that. Is that too tall? I think that's about right. I don't want to make it too tall. Alright. And then... I'll do them all individually to start out with. So let's go ahead and start work on this. And the important thing here, so this needs 60 stone, 30 polished stone, 30 tools, and Bathine is bringing the 50 stone in one trip. Uh, another large tower, same deal. I'm gonna make it that tall, all right? And I'm gonna leave you unconstructed for a minute so that I can go over here and 
I think you ought to save and do this one. And right, you're way over there. So let's create another one. Okay, got it. Right? Yep. Okay, now I want to go up. There. Yeah, they're big. That looks as tall as that one. I think this one's going to be too short. I'm going to have to rebuild it. We'll see. Alright, so I'm going to start you. And I'm going to start you. Here we go. And then we'll wait for him to get done. You can see the base of this one's done already, so you can kind of see what the color of it's going to look. It's a little more realistic looking than these. These are kind of cartoon blocks. This is a little more realistic. I like the way it looks, but from a distance, um, it, it looks really good. It looks about the same. So, to compromise. Alright, I was still working on the berries because I really want to get this berry number up before I start to concentrate on the bread again. Nope. And we do have a few unemployed, especially old Cooperage. So Clemens at 112. Um, you're going to do this. And so is Sarah with two R's. Uh-oh. Who did I just get? I just got Gosbertus. No, 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 no. You're out. You're out. It was supposed to be Sarah. Gosbertus was like 500 away. There. Gosbertus would take this trail over. Speaking of this trail, uh, I tried to block this if you watch the live stream to keep him from coming way over here. It didn't work. So uh, I'm just going to take this out so you can walk straight and not bother me with your silly path. Uh, because obviously you didn't pay attention to that. And uh, hey, the bridge is going up. All right. We have two unemployed. And we don't have any Coopers, do we? Because I believe I got rid of them all. Yes, they're carpenters or builders. Or how many pages of builders do we have? Lots of beekeepers. We have a good number of builders. I could, I could unemploy a bunch of builders so that we can make more berries. I think we need farms as well. And how is this little house in the middle island doing? It's doing okay. Where's the door? All right, you put the door here, which is interesting. And you can get in and out even though the shrubbery is here. How about that? That, that actually turned out quite nice. Uh, let's delete that shrubbery. And let's plant another one. Um, uh... Scale to the wall rampart. Uh-oh, what is that? I'm not going to touch that. Sunflower tail. Decorative bush. I, I installed some new mods that I did want to um, talk about. And uh, I will do that shortly. There we go. Okay. So, as far as farmers go, um, Herman Guild, you are 41 meters away. It looks like you guys all moved back in. Ooh, Helloist is 561 meters away. We can't have that. We're going to kick you out. You're now unemployed. And as far as you go, not Hugo, Henricus, 585 as well. You're out. And do we have anybody closer? Let's see. Yes, Emedia. Get in here immediately. That's the best I could do, all right? Um, and what else? What else? Ooh, should I bring... What did I do with these markets? Fish and bread and... Yeah. Uh, Alright, and look at our grape. Our grapes are at 170. What do the sales look like? So here we go. Look, my losses are only uh, about 5,000 now. Which is a number I think I can fix. And uh, our income is uh, 1,425 in the grapes. 
four thousand in the berries, four thousand in the bread, five thousand in the shirts, one thousand eight hundred in the honey, uh, twenty wine. Um, upkeep cost. The number one upkeep is still. It's a combination. The church is up there at nine thousand eight hundred, and the monastery. And they're not in alphabetical order, so I'm scanning as quick as I can to try to see it. It is where, 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 where. Cooperage is only seventy. Where's the monastery? I guess it's free. It is way up there at the top. It is also nine thousand. Nine thousand and eighty-six versus nine thousand eight hundred. So the the church part of the castle is actually costing us more now. Um, that's okay. Um, my parts, my castle parts cost one gold for every piece. So uh, that'll make building cheaper. Uh, once this stuff goes up, there's going to be a delay. But you can see how kind of that that looks cool. See, I want to like the way that looks. And this one's uh, this one's going up as well. You know, from a distance, you know, you'd be hard pressed to say, oh, that's slightly different. It's the right shade, it's the right color. Um, I think in a few weeks or maybe months, we'll have a much greater selection of mods, including ones that uh, probably have the windows in and such. Um, this one does have windows that goes along with it, but uh, they're square, and so they don't really match the look of the round window. Um, right, so we're just waiting for that to happen. And as far as unemployed goes, let's bring this back up again. And I've got three unemployed. And so let's fly over here. I think one person is close to this. Who is that? Henricus at 113 meters. You may pick some berries. And that is it until I let more villagers in. Unless I want to grab a builder. So just for the heck of it, you're full, 41, no, go away, 41, 41, 561, I kicked you out, all right. So I, until you're gone, I can't do anything about you. But um, if I didn't want to click that and say assign people, any builders near? Of course not, of course not. So I'm gonna go hunting for builders that I can re-employ into these farms. All right, I managed to grab a few. Uh, first off, we have... Uh, Gossbertus is now only 41 meters away. I thought sure you were the one that was 500. You're unemployed, right? Yep. Okay, you're in. And then over here... Who else do we have? Uh, oops. Act? Where do you live? Because I clicked your button. Right. You were right over here, which is really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. And then, uh, who's this? Uh, you did. 124. Okay. So, this is fully farmed. Oh, I wanted to do paint the crop field. Yeah, I didn't have this painted because it was all trees. Now it's not trees. We only owned it here. But you know, what's this, what's this square? Why can't I, I can't, oh, I don't, I don't know. There, nice circle around the crop field, but you've got plenty of field. Let's go all the way out to the end where there's no trees. And that should be plenty of field for everybody. There we go, okay. I like the way you can see the lines between the fields. Just ever a thin line. We could put a fence up there to denote that it's between fields. Maybe someday. Um, and then as far as you go, did I put your field on the other side? I didn't. I put, yeah, I don't think residentials are gonna use that. The residentials are gonna use that. Um, so we'll make this some more wheat field here. All right, you you can uh, you can plant your wheat out here on the other side, and that gives you a slightly bigger field, and that's good. What's our wheat number up to? Two hundred and thirty-three. Excellent. Bread numbers are going up now too. That's good. Uh, flower numbers should be going up. Possibly we only needed these two extra farms on this little island here. I think that looks pretty cool. Success. Flowers. 
Uh, two unemployed. Uh, where do you all live? You have, it, oh. That, aha, you know where you could work. You know where you could work, since I am paranoid about the berries. Are these all back to full? Yeah, I assigned everybody to this. How about that? Um, how many stone do we have? Where's the stone? It's way down here for some reason, right? Yeah, it's not in the obvious spot. 5,266 stone. 2,399 polished stone. Um, as far as berries go, you know what? Why don't we build... Why don't we build one more um, gathering hut and we'll just put it right in here. All right, because we have the space. And we'll high prioritize this. And then we will we will put two people here and that'll use up our unemployed. And the berry numbers are looking good anyway at 700. I'm running at speed two, uh, which for this late in the game with 957 villagers, 96 happiness uh, is pretty darn good. And the budget is, uh, yeah, minus 5,000. So we've got a ways to go. But I believe it's all about the grapes. I believe it's all about the grapes. Did this bridge get finished? Did I not see? I never see when anything gets finished anymore. This bridge did get finished. So let's build ourselves some wineries. And let's, and not wineries, uh, vineyards. Right, and we can put vineyards anywhere. So I'd say we just put them, and they don't have to be on our land. True story. I think they're gonna have to be on our land. I think I'm gonna have to change it to be on our land, but um, we'll see. We will put um, one here. Right, two here, one here, one in here, one here, one over here. And let's go. All right, and then let's evaluate the land situation, the territory. Um, I don't own those, but um, you can see the cost is low. This will add to your royal, it's free. It shouldn't be free, but it'll add 10 to the royal taxes. I don't remember making it free. Uh, well, we didn't care about that money anyway. That's always easy come, easy go, so. Yeah, I'll buy this one. Oh, I just had one free. All right, this one's 500. That's right, because I ran a, uh, I ran a uh, one mission. Give me the money. We'll buy that one. We'll buy this one. Oh, look at them using the bridge. We'll buy this one. And then what else? I own this one. I own that, of course. Might as well buy this one there and now I own all of this perfect so where are you guys going anyway is this how you're getting to uh... ah cool okay. oh you gotta do that I'm gonna have to put this on so you're going through here think then right and then you're going around and thank you auto save you're going into that church how about that should I put the back door in? I don't think it's going to make any difference. You're all going to walk around to the front door anyway. Alright, so... Let's fix this. I want him to go through... Well, when we put walls up, it'll fix it. But, um... I can't have this. I cannot have this. You have to walk around and over. We'll see if that corrects their incorrectness. And somebody turned this way. I'm going to have to do it over here, too. A lot of people are going that way. I wonder what... Do I, do I even want to know? Do I even want to know? Oh no, you're all doing this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Right? The expansion is on. As soon as those finish building, I can paint the fields. We can plant ourselves some grapes. And we'll be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Yep, yeah, it looks like I goofed. This one is too short. The other two are the same height, but this one is just a little bit too short, so I'm going to have to remake it. I don't think these are too tall. And I think these look really good. Uh, from this distance, I think that looks quite good. 
and it gives us a slightly more castle-esque type of feel because of the top on this but uh, you are going to have to go I'm sorry we had to waste all these goods and Annis um, yeah you 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 gotta start over there and uh, we'll do another one we will do another one so right we'll rebuild it like this I think this looks pretty good um, maybe I'll move it out here just a little bit more like so I like that close up yeah I like that and it's a little tall it's it's no it's the same height it's because there's not a the the pieces are big each individual piece of the sizing is big there's not a lot of um, you know and they sit differently on the ground there's gonna be a little bit of difference between the two but that's the way it is we need 60 30 and 30 that is stone Polished stone and tools, respectively, go. And uh, now we'll wait for that to get finished. In the meantime, I believe these finished. Nope, not quite. How about you way over there? Not quite. They have all the parts. They're just waiting to finish building. And now that this extra berry hut is done, uh, we can take our only two unemployed. Oh, Heloise, you're not even close. My bad. I thought you two were right together for some reason. Okay. You're here then. You get to work this hut all by yourself. And where's Heloise? Uh, where in the world? Am oh, you're way over here. Well, no. We have the perfect job for you then. Um, you go right here. At 109 meters, you're one hop, skip, and a jump right across the bridge. And we've almost got 900. I, I'd say we probably will have a thousand berries before long. Uh huh. And in the meantime, the building complete monastery. Perfect timing. Uh, let's build us some grape fields. Uh, they're not called grape fields, are they though? Uh, and are they? Oh, they're at the top. My bad. Let's jump back up to the top. Good grief! We got a lot of people. We also have a lot of unemployed that'll move in. Uh, three of three vine growers assigned and three of three assigned where how do I know which one's which no my soldiers only serve. how do I know which you're harvesting okay that's these three farm state harvesting and then aha it's the ones I haven't started production on crop field how do I know which one you are I guess it doesn't matter that's interesting all right and you can start production all right and you're going out there even though nobody's assigned how about that how about that but we can definitely get more people assigned but yes, you will grow some grapes. All right, so for the next step, uh, we've got the new vineyards in, so you can kind of see it. That, that's cool, because now you get much more of an um, out-in-the-country kind of vineyard kind of thing going on up there. And uh, yeah, we need grapes. Uh, and I think we can sell a lot more grapes than we've sold currently. Um, consumption's currently 20 grand. Only 645 grapes, and we know they'd buy more if we could just grow more, which we are. Um, so we'll see how that works out. But anyway, now it's time to start dressing up the castle with the smaller castle pieces. And uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. All right, this is what I got. I replaced the dark tower here with a smaller uh, combination of two square towers. The towers don't really mesh that well because the tops cross, but I think that looks good enough. And uh, we're replacing or adding to the front of this one of the larger towers. This is the first piece because they should the builder should be able to get to this piece. And then uh, I've got some crammed back in here as well because I'm trying to break up the look of the weird 
roof on this and I probably could use a couple more pieces but I can dress that up later and then on two more of the larger towers here and one more here to kind of break that look up a little bit and I could potentially just delete some of these pieces I do like the way that the dark pieces fit in um, and for, for whatever reason over here they look fine over here there's just too many of them the the look needs to be broken up I don't know artiste I am not but uh, yeah it it uh, it offends my artsy fartsy sensibilities all right so and I have no idea why but anyway that is uh, you can see these front towers are just about finished and I think that looks good and then these will get added and they'll be finished uh, next time but um, so let's let's see what do we need we need uh, 450 stone 220 polished stone 220 tools start construction and lots of people are building and it looks like everything was reachable because everybody's delivering to it so that's a good thing right and uh, how are the vineyards doing now are our sales up at all uh, we only have 16 grapes if we look at the budget 525 of the I keep wanting to say berries of the grapes were sold last month this month so far 225 this week I should say uh, we're still at minus 5,000 because um, it is very hard to make money in this town and do you have all oh right I have to I have to scroll let's see you're top in the list right so zero 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 everybody's got zero I don't know if you've had your first harvest yet so that could be a thing but I would love to oh yeah I wanted to see the upkeep upkeep what is the upkeep if I hit edit and I say I want to put down a vineyard it's only two maintenance which is reasonable 10 planks, 5 stones, 2 tools, 2 maintenance. That is definitely good. Where the winery itself is 10 maintenance. 10 golden maintenance. The vineyards are only 2. Uh, the apiaries are 10. Wow. I did not know that. But it's nothing like the Abbey A, which is... Uh, no, Abbey A and Abbey B, they're all 5. Right? The dorms are 5. Everything's 5. Doors are 1. Right. So anyway, let's get growing. I could buy more land and put more in. And uh, maybe cut some woods down too. But uh, did this ever finish? 30 tools needed to... How are the tools? 1,500 tools. How about that? We're going to actually fill up with tools soon. Wow. Um, so now I want to get a final shot here. And what what angle is going to look good? Uh, how about if I, if I hang out on the island? All right. Um, yeah, you can't really see it from here. I don't know. That looks. I think that looks pretty good. These things make it look more imposing. Maybe. I think as the other pieces get added, it'll look even better. Uh, we'll kind of have three shades of stone in here, and uh, you know, uh, be sure to critique it uh, in the comments if you want, because uh, right. I don't sometimes sometimes I have to see it built before I decide to change it but um, I do like the way these things fit in they might be a little tall I don't know then again these are supposed to be lookouts where uh, archers uh, stand on top ready to shoot any unsuspecting villager in the butt or something like that uh, yeah, there's the new vineyards back here. That looks pretty cool. This is a pretty good shot. You have to be up on something though to see. What if I get back here in the fields? All right, there we go. We're in the shade behind the farmhouse. Uh, one of the farmhouses up on the hill here. You can see the new uh, pieces going in. Uh, the rest of this will build. We'll have to look at it next episode when it finishes. And uh, right, that is going to be it for now. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.